The community of Madison, which is in Nashville, Tennessee, there's a medical building that is no longer being used. So uh, a group decided to start something called the Social Club. And um, I think it was formerly known as the Social Club. And build a swingers club, right? Like you do. Old medical building, let's turn it sure, into a swingers club. And so the city was like, no, 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 no. Led in many ways by the Good Pastor Christian School, which is right next door, which I love. <laughs> and they were like, no, 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 you're not building a swingers club. We're going to rezone it so that you can't have a club. So the social club decided, well, I'm going to rezone your zoning and apply for status as a religion, Ooh. which I think is amazing. <laughs> so they've completely changed their plans. And by completely change them, I mean they've left them exactly the same, but they've reworded what parts of the club are, uh, are going to be. So um, let's see. The dungeon is now a choir room. <laughs> the game room is now a fellowship hall. And the dance floor is now a sanctuary. And, of course, the leader, or I should say the owner, is now an online ordained minister, wow. which makes me so now, happy. Now, that is super clever. You know, <laughs> good for them. That was a great thing to come up with. And look at that. I mean, that that's okay. That's <laughs> okay, about, that's all we can say. The dungeon as a choir room. Yeah, I, that's, that's, that's my hilarious. favorite part. Also, now, is there a question? Do you have any, um, any question about the idea that this is located right next to what is essentially a school? No, I could give two shits. Really? This is an adult. This is, yeah, it's a swingers club. It's an adult-only institution. And I don't so you this. don't have any concerns about the, you know, the, fi the, the usual zoning regulations. You know, you've got to be 500 feet away. You don't want kids walking past porn and stuff like that. But yet this is not a porn it's not shop, porn. so they're not seeing signs of that. Yeah, it's not porn. And it's so, not liquor. I think yeah. that, you know, if they do it the right way, they should be able to do it the right way. And I think what's so brilliant about this, well, I'm going to read a quick quote here. According to Councilwoman Karen Bennett, the owner of the building has become an ordained minister, a process online that takes less than a minute and requires nothing more than a name and a password. Apparently she's not happy with this. Um, churches have a lot of rights, but it is also federally regulated. They certainly have their right to become a church. They just need to make sure they follow the guidelines, which I like to hear. I yeah. like to. So basically, here's the issue. Anybody, did you watch Going Clear? I did. The HBO documentary, yes. right, about Scientology. There's a lot of parallels here. And I'll tell you why I think that's the case. Um, so L. Ron Hubbard was batshit crazy. And as he was declining into madness and being incredibly afraid of psychiatry, he decided that he would start talking about how psychiatry is evil. Along the way, he realized that he wanted money and he didn't want to pay his taxes. How do I not pay my taxes? And make a lot of money start a church. <laughs> now, I think that this is not an uncommon sentiment in these kinds of, I'd say, rogue religious institutions. And I have, for a very long time, had huge issues with the way that the government attempts to keep church and state separate, but really heavily blurs the lines by basically creating tax shelters for religious institutions. There are a lot of laws on the book that allow religions to get away with heavy duty nonsense yeah. simply because they are classified as a nonprofit religious institution. And you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. It's a pretty clever a, way to do it. It's a great political statement. Yeah. I don't even know if they think, if they know that they're making this political <laughs> statement, <laughs> but I think it's a good one. And um, I'd love to see how the social experiment ends up. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs>